welcome to the Chinese Grand Prix here in, in Formula Classic. It is below the driver's car on pole. Then we have Crumpley in P2. Then we have Jackdaw in B4. And Babinus, Electro, Fernandez, El Pepsi, Sierra, Zanak, Ligorov, Volari, Livery, UK Ball, Zayn, Nawali, Jimond, Duraka, Paul, Alonso, Venta, Zaid, and Yui, who will round off the grid. So here are China, an exciting event for most of us. I want to love to see here at one. Here are five red lights. And we're on the way in China. It's a good stop by Crumbly. The man in P2 of the championship. Can he get the lead though? Into the first one. He's yes, he has. He's got that lead. And that was that looks like a cake walk for him. And now the rest of the grid is scrapping it out for oh, little positions. But these positions could be crucial in the end. By the end of the race, these could be pretty good positions at the end. But here's the thing: we just don't know his name gets a penalty there. The man who scored last race had his home round three. Does have a home GP for him. He scored. As Draco is in P18 now, the Brit hopefully looking to get good results this time out. If you can do it, he'll be really happy and the team. So yeah, only looking at his viewers at the moment there. Still just where he is. Not really not changing at all. And one random penguin is he still leads. We can expect him to go loads. Of wins this season has pulled picks and took a five second time penalty, causing a collision as we can clearly tell. Because the last race was a disaster for Dragon. As yeah, one car scored one one point or scored two plus fast lap, but which is where the solitary were on board with right now. And probably who crashed. But we couldn't really catch it, but we know where it was. And here the last race is a race with El Pepsi in P6 now. This is not looking good for him. The one time race winner looking to make a good comeback after the last race. Well, for a good comeback, it would just be enough win. But he needs to try and push himself through the field as much as he can. This will really assist him as he tries to get past Zion at Bowders, but he's, but he's just too far ahead of him. It's not going to work whatsoever as UK Ball getting close to his teammate Grigora. As of now, they're heading in to the, into this happen as UK Ball going quite wide there. As we're heading on to the lap three, as Crumpley said to pass up the GP. Really fast time there. It's two seconds out in front, but Blade Rex Solid just has no pace on medium tyres. Jack will fall right behind him. But now Sierra is looking to, tr to get ahead of our Pepsi, he's done it with ease. Sierra now is was in P6, but Pepsi took it back. There's now Fernandez and the Ferrari. Looking to make up for Ferrari's bad season so far, he might actually be able to push himself through the P5 here. He's done it! What a move! Three cars in just the space of a couple corners. Now that is skill. That is just pure skill. And you'll love to see it. As now we can see the Ferrari BMWs P19, P21. However, Zed is quite a distance away from Paul in the Italia car. 
So Paul now chasing down the Yui. Yui P19. It's not much of a thing I was gonna try to get for, but it's not what we he did the wall on the hard compound tires. No damage for him. But that could have been a really bad instant. And this is, will allow you to catch up. That's Crumbly now, who's on these soft tyres. Is going to just pull out the lead as much as he can. He's pushing for a world title. But currently Jack Down Falls not found any more pace on the soft tyres to potentially get himself ahead of that dragon right in front of him. So he's probably just stuck at the wall where he is, and Electro P4, now Pepsi P5, Fernando has dropped out P7. Not good for the Spaniard, who's going to be chasing down the podium. Now Electro, he's going down the, the he's going around the heaven. And Jack Dog Falls had a really bad line. And this means that Electro is now right in this fight for P3 or even P2 actually. Didn't even think about that. The Blizzard was like still struggling on these tyres, not finding the pace. However, about to see the visible air kick in on the soft tyres. There, you can see little bits coming in there, and now it's pretty much a full line. So here we are. You can tell it's getting near pit stop time when the soft start to wear out on drivers. As Cody can walk, try to move on his teammate. It's not worth a UK roll, keeps the P10 position. And I think that's going to go wrong side, yes it is. He's alongside the UK roll. And they're side by side, heading to the RSO Green or Rovers, no benefit whatsoever. Ferrari has, Ferrari threw it to P10. As Grigor Rovers dropped, Grigor drops down into P12, but he does get the DRS. He's pulling alongside his teammate, heading into the heaven. Can they keep it clean, however? Will the Mercedes clash or not? No, they will not clash. But UK roll now with. Who had a better line throughout the heaven is going to get through it to P11 once again. I thought Pafty 140 undercut is into that pit lane. The Lotus will put on some fresh, juicy tyres. As it looks like no one else is going to pit. No one else is up to pit in. As Ventil on the hard compound tyres. Using the slipstream to try and get past Zade, heading into turn one. Can he do it all? He over wrong side, Zade. And he just cannot find the room anywhere. So currently, Electro is still in that back P3, but it's just a train. P2, sorry. Yo. Just trying to find a little fight here. Actually, the default is in the train, I think. See? Could be kind of something the BWT Force Indians have been looking strong as of last race. So we could see something brew between them. As you can one now for Slipstream um, and DRS trying to get ahead of the wall, who also has DRS. UK Wall to not see pull alongside. Yes, he will. He will pull alongside, but he can't pull alongside. Another Zane heading into the corner to the ne an epic dive on the very. They look super cool to land at, but Zane is inevitably through and livery pits. Livery has decided to pit as Crumbly is also pitted as well. Save the goes out! Is Drakkar a second retirement of the season? Where is that stricken car? We can't see it. But there is a safety car which has completely ruined Crumbly's race. This has ruined anyone else who has pitted. These guys will get three pit stops. That is a horrible time to be pitting. 
so many drivers are, are going to be affected by this. I'm wondering, will there be some medium tire runners pitting? Or if they just take them like a cheese to be they have to try and go half the race on their tires. Obviously, it's safe to call conditions. I'll just think, safety cars out. We've got a safe car every race this season. This is just yet another race that has contained a safe car. I was really just going to really take that secure. It's super slow. 36 kilometers per hour, jeez. I don't even know what that is, mad power. I use mad power, so I have no clue. I know it's a very tiny number. As Jack and of course going to head in the pit lane and I am a Mavis. Blood Jack's like heads in. Now of course there is definitely double stacking stuff going on there. Mavis will get the tyres on. He's done it, he's got out in time. Blood Jack's will we'll be using our soft tyres at the end as promptly is just missed out. He's just missed out on P2 there. Well, he's in P3, he does have fresh tyres, but not as fresh as the others. But if a better car is the small role, can he potentially get P2 or even P1 in the small group? That's what we have found out. As z enters the pit lane. And he is held up by Alonso, who is pitting at the moment. He's going to get out of the bugger. Of course he's going to come across the line there. He really will avoid the lane. And Vento will avoid the lane too. Same with Zade. Zade will avoid the pit lane. We'll have one more lap of pit lane after this. We need the safety car after this, so. So, yeah. Um. We'll do lap 9 under safety car condition. There will be. Be racing again on lap 10. Now, sorry that these holly cars still aren't fixed. The William outside still the leading car out on track. He's shown an amazing performance, and yeah, I'm really happy for him. The number 13 doing really well. Just took behind the safety car. So yeah, we're watching the cars get behind that safety car as Paul now. He's zooming down the street to catch up the safety car that has caught up. Alonso now is zooming down the straight, oh, I look forward to doing like this. Now Yui coming down the straight, he's gonna have to... Actually he might have to wait till the heck out, I don't know. No he's not. Now Venter bunches up behind and finally Zade. Running in last place for P21, the number 44. Not doing so good. As lap cars may now overtake, we are on to the next lap. But Blair Johnson, obviously our leading guy. Luckily for him, there has been no punches. So as it stands, it's going to be a Dragon World 3 of McLaren 2-4. But unfortunately for Lotus of 5 9. A red for Red Bull the team was a 6 11. For Ferrari is a 7 8. I'll say it's, it's a 10 13. So we have completed the first sector. Every car now will complete that sector. So it Probably the longest sector to track. Sector 2. What's well, it's there typically the longest for? I 
I'm sure that this definitely will help with half or try possibly. There's a full stick of animals. I have no clue. But here we are in sector three now. The drone is obviously reaching the sector. So yeah, here we are, what a wall. I mean on what is it? Just gonna be looking to get a better result of the BMW is honestly enjoying the season at all. Route will be low behind the team. Obviously not what they would have expected, being it just being a lot worse than the BMW team we had in 2009. That was on by Sauber. Which of course Sauber then became Italia. But yeah, Team Lotus was purchased by Ferrari, then more partnered with BMW to make Ferrari BMW. I'm driving down here 36 km an hour. Oh, I just saw 27 on the ball off the road. Damn. It is. Looking at on the race start, Blade Rosalie is on the way. He's secured that lead. He's pretty safe for the moment. He has jumped on ball behind, however, on them soft tires, Blade Rosalie will be flying around the circuit. He's going to pull out a second very easily. Now, currently on, on, on more worn mediums. And we'll be looking to get past Jack on four. As UK ball takes past the second one of anyone there. He does have quite a bit of ground to make up though if he wants to catch Ferrari B11. But there are Blade outside getting quicker there in sector two. And yeah, he's definitely on a roll. But now UK ball looking even faster. UK ball currently the fastest on track as of this current lap, like currently is officially the fastest. But he's on lap as of now, quickly around the inside. He that was almost contact there, but currently is through into P2 of the Chinese Grand Prix. He's having to defend so much. Just played out like that fast, I probably snapped as that. But new folks on UK ball as well, because he's looking pretty good around this lap. How will he do go? He did not take the pass that way though, despite getting faster than the first two sectors. Probably now on a charge for full victory in the last few laps of this GP. Currently takes the pass to sector one, he's definitely pushing. And Blood Jones, like we can see, he's just kept his ERS. He is keeping that ERS ready for when he needs it. Of course, these other drivers, what they do not know. Of course, they could have their suspicions, but they don't really know for sure. And now, Crumply is charging down the straight. He does get that DRS on. 320 for Boy DRS on his maximum. But Crumply, they're 334. Yeah, that shows how effective that DRS is. But now, he's out of DRS range already. So, Blade also leads on the lap 12 of 14 in this Chinese Grand Prix. Remember, at the end of last race, Ernest Bavlis was the championship leader for the first time, of course, I stopped in the last. As he is down in P4. Yeah, like I said, Blood Rose Hog keeping that EOS. He's used some of it. Not much though, but he's in P1 by 2.4 seconds. He is really pushing that driving car. But could he be pushing that thing too much? 
He potentially be pushing the car a little too much. That's what I'm wondering. As now he literally is like charging the victory for a 16th time in his career. He hasn't gotten away yet this time. This is his chance here in round three. So here we are, penultimate lap. He has to be cruising for victory here. As Zayd now looks to be ahead of his teammate, but not you, he really trying to find that one back. The guy from Hong Kong is back in the P19. As now he's chasing that one, so the experience, the most experience of on the grid. He's looking just on Alonso for P18. As now one of them like hiding around. Just hiding around that long right hander. He's flying away. And you can see he's getting not wearing the tyres. He's pushing the tyres so much. Of course that's happening. That's probably going to just glide around that corner. I was in love with the bloody on board of Sierra. The, the 2010 champion. As he looks to chase down Electro in the final lap of the race. 4P5. It's not a good day though for the Lotuses or the Ferraris. It's not a good day for the Lotus, Ferrari, Mercedes and Red Bull. As we go off now, try to keep that P8 position. Can he get it though? It's a big old scrap here. It's the scrap we never asked for, the scrap, the scrap we needed but never asked for. That's what we're getting here. As we land there, I think we go off as we can just see that. We're, we're just fighting this out so well. UK ball now trying to get around his teammate for P9. Can, it, can he get the move done around the inside? It looks like he has. He's gone it, but go off oh, to no one to give up there. He's gonna go down the inside. He's through. But now UK ball gets the inside line yet again. He's back in the P9 once again. Oh my god, I have to look at this. Where the dragon's going now? For the 16th time wins. In Formula 1 Grand Prix, with the fastest lap, probably with a P2. But look at me here, the McLaren's got neck and neck to the line. It's Pavanus who gets it. And the ball, oh my god, no! The safe goes out in the UK ball. It's out. It's the final corner of the Grand Prix. Devastation for the Mercedes. That is a massive impact into the wall. He'll be getting straight into a medical car because that was a huge incident. Full force into that wall. Not good at all. We won't know if you'll be able to last until the end then. I mean, we won't know if you'll be able to do next race then. Because that was a huge impact. A really bad hit there. Let's move on to the podium celebrations. The Blade Runner, sorry for the 16th time ever, is a race winner. Then we have Crumpley in P2. Then we get Ina Babylis in P3, who scores another podium. So then, that was that out the way. Let's listen to the Nigerian national anthem. The 
going to decide if it's best that was the obvious one and then we have Crumpley. Then we have Get Ravenous, Jet Time 4, Electro, Sierra, Ferrari, Nandez, Bigorov, Susanna, Elbepsy, Livery, Zane, Zygmunt, Paul, Venta, Alonso, Yui, Zane, Nawawi, UK Wolf, that mass crash, Kony get picked up by the middle car, it's out, and then Draka, who retired earlier on, causing that first safety car. We've got two safety cars, just one came out for like half the grid and one corner. Yeah, that is going to be it for the Chinese Grand Prix. See you next time, which I think is Spain, but you'll find out then. Anyways, see you then. Goodbye.